welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena and this is my husband John, which he's never in my videos, but today he's going to be in it. Uh, I usually do makeup tutorials and reviews, but in today's video my husband's going to do my makeup. Also a couple of things, I'm going to give him uh, two of each product. One expensive, one is cheap. And he's going to be guessing the price, guessing which one is which, and picking one. So it's going to be a lot of games. So I'm going to just sit here and cackle and watch him struggle. It's a lot of fun. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new video I upload. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and also go live every Monday. And I also have Patreon group, the link is down in the description box. Follow me Instagram, Twitter, comment and subscribe. So let's get right into this. So we've done this video once and it was in the beginning of my channel. My husband does my makeup. So I let him roam free and he pretty much effed up my face like real badly. <laughs> and I let him do whatever he wants. It was bad. But it was a lot of fun. So this time I watched a Robert Welsh and James Welsh video where uh, James Welsh was guessing the prices of each item and I was like it's a good idea and on top of that I'm gonna teach him, kind of teach him how to do it this time and I'll tell him what to use after what and how. So that should be very interesting. So uh, if you guys don't know him, he's a pilot so he has no affiliation to makeup he might say a word or two, but he doesn't like to talk on camera. <laughs> so I'm going to be talking and throwing shade and he's going to be suffering. So, so first things first, we're going to start with the eye primer. And I'm not doing my eyebrows on camera this, off camera this time and he's going to butcher them on camera. I have old eyebrow tattoo, which goes down. So I usually block this and I, I kind of draw them up. But he's going to do whatever he wants to do. So he said it's going to be what? 15 minutes. No. Well, it's not gonna be 15 minutes. Anyway, so let's start. I have my cheat sheet I'm sitting on. Where is it? I wrote myself a note. The prices. So first thing, we're gonna start with the eye primer. So I got two. You're gonna pick one and then you're gonna say which one is which, expensive and cheap. So I'm gonna test them on your hand and you're gonna, by texture, you're gonna guess which one is which. So here's primer number one. That's primer number one. I'm just showing the audience. So here's one. And here's primer number two. I mean, I'm not a bougie bay, so all my shit is very cheap. <laughs> but some of it a little more cheap and some of it a little more expensive. So these are very similar, so you're gonna have a hard time figuring out which one's which. So which one is which more expensive which one is cheap and you can touch them you can smear them with the other hand uh first one is expensive and this one is cheap yes <sighs> no <laughs> i'm so satisfied <laughs> well they're both not that expensive the first one was a revolution base and the revolution base is seven dollars i'm just looking like available for us prices and P. Louise Bay is available in Morphe for 15 bucks. So actually you're wrong, but I don't know. Now you can pick whichever one you want. They're all very similar. Okay, so he picked the right choice. I like a revolution base, so I'm gonna clean you off with a towel so you don't smear it everywhere. So what you do, I'm gonna show you what you do. Put a little bit on your hand, on whichever hand you're not gonna be using. Because if you're working with the right hand, you're going to be using a brush. And, okay. Now, you use the brush and then put it with a brush and then uh, smudge it with a sponge afterwards. Yeah, on my eyelids. The look we're doing is the look from one of my videos that's fairly simple. So you're going to see this look on the screen. So this look has all the colors that he likes. Like greens, blues, he likes blue, so I picked that one. And besides, it's not very complex. Make sure you go all the way to the eyebrow. It goes all the way up to the eyebrow. When you're satisfied with the amount, you can blend it with the sponge. You know, the way you blend it, you like pat, 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 beat, 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 beat. Just don't beat my eyeball out of my socket. That was very vigorous beating. Ow. 
I, th I think I saw stars in my eyes. Next step, <clears throat> we're gonna use the eyeshadow palette. So I picked the eyeshadow palettes that have similar colors. So one of these palettes is actually from the video this looks come from, that I actually made this look with that palette. The other palette it just has similar colors. So first of all, uh, which one is more expensive, which one is more cheap? I'm gonna open it so you can see. Well, one is small, one is bigger, but it doesn't matter. Sometimes the size is not the matter. Oh, the cat is coming. He's trying to bite the eyeshadow. Now. Shenji, don't walk over the eyeshadow. So which one is more expensive, which one is cheaper? This one's more expensive. Well, he guessed it right. So I gave him Be Perfect, a love Tahiti, compared to LA Girl. And LA Girl is clearly cheaper, but they kind of had the same little shades, the blues and greens and purples. And which one would you like to use? This one. The more expensive. Good choice. But now that I re revealed this, I can reveal that LA Girl has actually, is the color, the palette that made this look with, but we don't care. We're gonna use the other one. So LA Girl palette is $15.99 and Be Perfect on uh, Beauty by Hay is $43. And Shenji is walking all over makeup chair table. Say hello to the audience. <laughs> There's my baby, our baby. Shenji is very, very playful now, very playful. Both parents love you, don't mm -hmm. All right, beat it. All right, he showed his butthole to the camera and now we can continue. All right, so I'm gonna give you brushes to work with and I'm gonna tell you the order of things. So we're gonna start with a deep color first and we're going to start with, don't lose the palette, you the artist, so hold on to it. So I'm gonna give you a small brush. So this is Spectrum A12 and you're gonna tip into, yeah, this purple. Look, he actually picked the color correctly. That's the one I would have gone for. There are a couple of colors you could go for because it's not the palette I work with. So on the, on the outer corner. You stamp it on and blend it out. And I'll give you a separate brush. You can actually blend it better with. Shangela is being a rascal and trying to attack everything right now. Do the other one so the audience can see. Oh, girl. Can you make a little more effort? <laughs> I just looked in the mirror. And I was like, holy sh... S-H-I-T. And by the time... By the way, every time you stab me and I will see stars. That's like a lot of stabbing. He's killing it, literally, murder. <laughs> All right, so now let's use this brush to blend out the edges. Just blend it out. So that's a clean brush. We're gonna blend out the edges. So I'm kind of giving him a little bit of direction. So he has a little bit of an idea where he's going with it. Except he doesn't know where he's going with it. I have a feeling somehow that it is not gonna result better than the last time. Okay, so look at this color and think which one you're gonna use. Yeah, Lagoon. Lagoon, perfect. At least you have a good eye for color. So this is Spectrum B11. It's a good size. Again, pat it on, hack it on, and then try to blend it out. So these two colors should be blending into each other. So tell the audience a little bit about your experience adopting Shenji. Um, we found uh, Shenji on the internet and we kept calling until we got someone to answer us and let us meet the cat. Us, meaning me. He was absent father. I always say I pushed the baby myself and the father was absent. What are you adding there? What was that? Nothing. I just blend it. Oh, okay. I thought you went broke into eyeshadow. I didn't tell you to blend. Oh my God. Look at this SHT. 
So now we add in black in the outer corner. You see how deep that is? So we're gonna add a little black and I'm giving you a small brush to add the black with. So this is Spectrum A27 and I'm going to Black Beach. And Shangela is trying to walk over all over Love Tahiti palette. I can't let him because he's gonna get eyeshadow on his paws. And we do not eat eyeshadow in this family. You put that on the outer corner pretty much. Like on the angle. So Shane, you got a lot of love today from both parents. We're petting him at, at the same time. And he just sits there and patiently tolerates it. This morning got up at five. He woke up and he started to bite the lamp cord at the bedside table. And he knows I don't like it. That's why he always goes for it. So I grabbed him to get away from a lamp and he started to bite my arms. <laughs> Little rascal. He knows how to wake me up. Okay, that's it. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's trying hard. <laughs> okay, so next thing we're gonna cut the crease. So I'm gonna teach you how to cut the crease. There's cotton balls on micellar water behind you, cutting the uh, uh, Q-tips. So get a Q-tip, dip into the micellar water, and you see how this is rounded, and this space is gonna be green. So you're gonna clean it, clean all, the, all this messy green. Uh, this rounded how? shape. Hmm? How? I'm just cleaning, like windshield wiper. Clean the space you want to be clean. Just the lid. I want to clean the lid. And I'll put concealer on, I mean concealer. You're gonna put eyeshadow base on it again. See, exactly. So you're creating the new eyelid space. See what I have to go through every time I feel? This is the most precise work you always see on my channel, people. You're gonna learn a lot from this. I have a feeling Shanji would be able to do better. And that was shade. <laughs> John moaned very painfully. So John is very popular with our makeup group, a sexy sausages, Mrs. Patron group. And they always call him the legend because he always washes my makeup brushes. He's so sweet. He's the legend, but he doesn't like to be on camera. So he's silently suffering now. All right, so now we're using the base again. Again, same thing, put it in the hand that you are not using, just a little bit. Using this flat brush, you're gonna draw this kind of shape and cover up my lid with, with the base. And then I'm gonna apply green on it, you see? This is how you create work of art, watch people. Ay, 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 just don't stab me an eye. Last time we did this video, I took a bottle of wine and I think I downed like half a bottle myself. So by the end of the video, I was giggling and I didn't care anymore. <laughs> this time I'm like, nah, I'm not drinking. Let's do this sober. Although I'll probably need to be drunk with this. Just you can put more, you know, so it's all covered. Because it should be solidly like white. It helps if you put the brush flat against the lid. Yeah, there you go. He's very focused. That's it? That's the best you can do? Yeah. Okay. That's a cut crease, people. Let me zoom in so you can see the work of art. Look how pretty that is. <laughs> I'm being shaded the house. All right, so now you use another flat brush. It's another Morphe flat brush. And you're gonna go into the lime green shimmer. Which one is it? No, that's not shimmer, this one's shimmer. So you pack it and you paint it over the base you just created. And that's gonna give you this lime green thing. You can tell that he's barely tolerating it. He and the cat are very similar. Cat just can sit silently and tolerate me petting him. And John is sitting here silently and <laughs> barely tolerating this. It's not bad, actually. A little smaller than I would like it to be. So now, ideally, you would take a brush and put some black eyeshadow on it. I'll give you another brush. You're going to be washing them anyway. Or maybe we'll switch. Since you're working, I'm going to be washing brushes today. So, I'm yeah. <laughs> good. See, you like that. So, I'm going to give you another brush to just blend out the black. So, dip into the black again, just a little bit. And blend the black into the green. 
So now you can go into this one a little bit and just blend it into the green, from black to green. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like there's a little blend between black, blue, and green. So he's blending the outer corner. He's actually looking at the pictures to, for reference. Looks just like it. Yeah, so now we'll do the low lash line because most people do the base first, the low lash line. But since we're doing it my way, I do the low lash line first. So the next guessing game, I'm going to give you a waterline pencil. And we're going to guess which one is which. So first of all, this one is the first one, number one. I'm going to draw it on your hand. And this is two, number two. And so number one. Number two is more expensive. He guessed it right, Urban Decay. Yeah, Urban Decay is 22 bucks, and LA Girl is five. And which one are you gonna be using? Number two. The more expensive one, good choice. So this is the part where he stabs my eye out. So I'm gonna hold it open and you draw it in my waterline. See how patient I am? I'm not blinking, I'm looking straight into the pencil and I'm not even blinking. That's how much trust there is here. Oh. <laughs> it's very close to my ball. Be careful. I think he's having fun now. I saw stars again. <laughs> okay, so now you're applying a little bit of base on the low lash line and you're gonna blend, see the green. You're gonna put the green eyeshadow there as well. So he picked the color himself. It's not the one I pointed out, but he goes for it. <laughs> uh, oh, why are you holding the brush like that? Uh, this is most comfortable. Oh my god, it scares the shit out of me. But that's very bright, actually. I don't mind that. That's his own take on it. Okay, I don't think he's gonna blend out a corner. <laughs> thought you want if you want me to. Yes. Take a little black again and a small brush and just kind of blend into the green. Alright, so this is the part where we do the eyebrow highlight, the brow bone highlight. The question is why there is a chunk here missing and there's no eyeshadow here. <laughs> what happened there? I'm not really sure. <laughs> And why is it green? What happened? <laughs> oh, girl. So now we're taking the purple brush, put a little bit of this lighter color, and blend into the shimmer here. So it blends together. So that's how we create a blend, a perfect blend. So that's all the blending you get, people. That's it. Oh, girl. So now that we're done, so you see all this mess we did? So this is a, why we do eyes first and the face later. Yeah, that's pretty cool brush. He's like a cat playing with the brush. He took the brush, he's like, oh, <laughs> look at that. So, okay, so you take a makeup wipe, this, yeah, and the micellar water on it. Put a little micellar water on it and then clean under the eye. So you clean off everything you want to be cleaned off. You see how this line is? Over here, going up. So you're gonna create that by cleaning out the eyeshadow you don't want. So that's a teaching moment. Oh, exactly. You're just doing swoop to make sure it kind of goes up. Snatched. Snatch me. That's not snatched. Look, it's down. I'm gonna go up. This one is actually more snatched than the other. So you want to keep them looking the same. Mm. They're not the same. <laughs> well, you want to clean the rest of the face, right? Well, I'll do it for you. All right, we moisturize and we're back. So now we're going to do the face primer. So I've got two face primers for you. So these two primers, so I'm going to put on your hand. And I'll let you test one. So this is number one. You can smoosh it with your fingers. So you can finger it. I finger everything. And this is number two. Everybody loves when I say that. It's number two. Number one. 
is what? More expensive. Ha! I got you. Wrong! So number one is Catrice Prime and Fine. And Catrice Primer is eight bucks. Benefit Primer is $32. So which one are you gonna use? The uh, blue one. So he goes for more expensive options. Got expensive taste all of a sudden. So squeeze a little bit of out and apply it pretty much in the middle of my face, like nose, cheeks, forehead. Doesn't have to be everywhere. If what? you want. Finger? Huh? Yeah, finger me. I don't know where it's going. That sounded very wrong. <laughs> Especially when the wife says to the husband, finger me. <laughs> so that was very even application. Perfect. The shade. <laughs> All right, so we got to a point of foundation. So pick up well, the sponges and the tools do not count in this video. So we're gonna use whatever. So foundation, I've got two choices. They look very similar. I was trying to trick him. So here's two foundations. So this is number one, and this is number two. So I'm gonna I'm gonna apply a little bit of number one. Well, the color is a little off, but like the color doesn't matter it's all about the texture you can smell it you can smear it and it'll tell me what you think number one is more expensive got him again <laughs> that's why i picked the bottles that look very similar and this one i magic foundation even the weighty it weighs a lot this one is from uh, i magic store it's 11 dollars and mars is 49 bucks 49 dollars for foundation can you imagine that so which one are you gonna use I imagine. So we're going for cheap option. That's actually a pretty good foundation. So pump on the hand that you're not using and then you go in with a sponge and you beat it. That's the easiest thing probably, just beat my face. You beat it everywhere except for the under eyes. The under eyes are going to have concealer. That was very thorough application. I felt that. <laughs> it was a smear more than being it's time to put concealer. So I've got two concealers for you. So number one and number two. So let me t test conceal on your hand. Never mind the colors, they're a little off, but which one is more expensive? You can smear them. Number two is more expensive. That is a very good guess. So number two is Stila, and Stila is $24. And number one is eye magic. I gave you my magic again. It's seven bucks. So which one are you gonna use? This one. So the second one, so you can wipe it off. And there you go. Just uh, you can apply with a wand, and then blend it with the same small sponge. I'll give you a sponge. At least you're applying concealer my under eyes. In my first video, I think you put it like on my cheeks or something. I'm like, why conceal my cheeks? Okay, that wasn't actually terrible. It's a little crooked, but we'll count this as application. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm not gonna have him do cream products because that would be very painful for him. So we're gonna set this. Besides, I don't have a lot of expensive options in creams and a lot of other things. So, and that's a setting powder. So this one, I'm not gonna like smear it everywhere. I just will have you look at it, sniff it. And here's the other one. So first one, we got this. I'm gonna put this on the screen so you guys can read everything. And the second one, no, don't peek. Second one is this. You can sniff it, you can look at it. Which one is more expensive? The uh, first one. Good choice. It smells like coconut. So I don't have a lot of expensive powder. So it's pretty much the only choice. It's from Box and Charm. It's the Outer London, and it's twenty-two bucks. That's a uh, everyday vacay. Smells like coconuts. And the other one is just Maybelline Fit Me. It's seven bucks, something like that. So which one we're gonna use? Um, cheap one. Yeah, actually, good choice because I like Maybelline better. To be honest, Seattle London seems to be a little more drying. The Maybelline is very moist. <laughs> Don't really like the word moist. All right, get the blendiful and just beat my face blendiful. 
It's funny, he knows what Blendiful is already. <laughs> so get a little powder and put it under my eyes first because under eyes crease first. So pat, pat, pat. Make sure it's not too much. It's actually very pleasant. It's like a face massage. And you're not beating me hard, which is very pleasant <laughs> for a change. <laughs> okay, so that's considered set, I guess. I think it's pretty set. It's not bad. I think at this point, we can try to butcher my eyebrows and then we'll do the eyeliner. So let I'll let him butcher my eyebrows next because I know it's not gonna be pretty. So eyebrows, I don't have a very expensive items, so let's be honest. The one is slightly more expensive, one is slightly more cheap. So these are the two eyebrow pencils I'm gonna paint on your hand. So this is number one. And I'm gonna put this again, I'm gonna put the name on the screen if it's blurry. And that's number two. So which one is cheaper, which one is more expensive? Number one is more expensive. Ha! Wrong. So number one was the Wet n Wild uh, precise uh, eyebrow pencil, and this is 450. The second one is still pretty cheap. It's XX Revolution, but it's eight bucks. So which one are you gonna use? This one. He liked Wet n Wild. Actually, it's very soft. I actually like it a lot. So do whatever you want with my eyebrows. Look at what they look like here, <laughs> and they'll never look the same. He's actually trying, I think. I'm watching it in the, in the mirror. <laughs> oh, girl, where are you going with it? <laughs> He's painting like almost on my eyelid. What the fork was that? He's painted eyebrow over my highlight. That is not gonna go well. He's really trying to rip my skin off. Smoosh it, smoosh it. Smoosh it all over the highlight. It's actually it's not bad, from where I can see. Although I cannot see most of it because the eyeshadow is in my eyes. Okay, so next we're gonna do the eyeliner. So I'm gonna get let you kiss again. So I got two eyeliners that the same kind of thing. They're felt tip. So one is this, and two is this. And I'm gonna put on the screen which one is which and how much they are. Which one is more expensive, which one is cheaper. Number, number two is more expensive. Yeah, because it actually has more pigmentation, so that was a giveaway. So number two was uh, I received in the boxy charm box, and this is you can um, a tart. And number one is you can be. Okay, eyeliner you can be is $7.99 and tart is $20. So which one are you gonna go for? The more expensive one. Yeah, I like this one. Actually, they're both very good, but let's go for more expensive one. So I'm gonna stretch my eyelids and just go for it. I trust him not to stab my eyeballs. I need my eyeballs for YouTube's videos. Because you know I'm a booty guru. If I lose an eyeball, I cannot do makeup anymore. Holy cow! I thought it was gonna be good for some reason. Why? Why did I have so much faith? <laughs> All right. Next is the mascara. So the mascara, you can just sniff it. I'm not gonna smear it on you. So I got two mascaras, and you can sniff. Number one. Hmm. Which one is which? I like the smell of this one. This is uh, cheaper. He knows it. <laughs> it is cheaper. It smells like chocolate. It does, right? So this is a chocolate dip mascara from Revolution. And the mascara was, let's see. The Revolution is $7. The Tarte mascara is $23. So you go in with chocolate one, obviously. We all like chocolate. So I trust you. Do not stab me an eyeball. Do you have any comments about this whole process? Are you so quiet? Not really. <laughs> he just wants to get it over with. Right? Not bad. Okay, for the <laughs> eyelashes, uh, he's gonna just use a pair because I don't have expensive ones. All my eyelashes are very budget friendly. So for the eyelashes, I'm using inexpensive ones from Amazon. And this is very dramatic. So you take the glue, the duo glue, see it says duo, 
Yeah, this. You paint on a strip, you wait a few seconds, and you put it on. <laughs> He's painting the eyelashes themselves. No, I'll never remove these eyelashes. I'm gonna remove all my lashes along with the glue. He's gonna be like, don't ask me to do makeup again. <laughs> so this is this side. That's not bad. That's actually very precise. That is not shabby. He actually applied the eyelashes pretty decently. This one a little close to the inner corner. It's scratching my cornea a little bit, but <laughs> we're gonna live with it. Okay, so next we're gonna do the face. So I've got you, I'm not gonna let you do contour because I think you're already pretty much done with this video. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a bronzer blush and I'm gonna give it highlighter. So let's see. The bron bronzer blush, I got two duos here. I'm gonna open them for you. This one's more expensive. Wrong. So this is the e.l.f. blush and uh, bronzer duo and this is Wonder Beauty. Triple two, which I got from BoxyCharm. That's why I have it because I'm a cheap hoe. I only buy cheap stuff and I only receive expensive stuff in BoxyCharm. <laughs> so, uh, the bronzer blush from Elf is four bucks. The Wonder Beauty, guess how much this is? I forgot to ask you to guess. $10. $36. $36. That's sick. So, uh, which one are you going to use? $36. Yeah, of course. Why not? I'll give you the bronzer. So first you do bronzer and then you do blush. So bronzer you put on a, as like let's contour with it, just in a contour places, where you contour face on the cheeks, all the way to the ear, to the top of the ear. Yeah, snatch it, snatch it with the cuts. Mm. You still, still working here? <laughs> Usually I would contour a little bit too, but I decided to make it easy. Besides, I don't have contours of different prices, they're all cheap. So put a little bit of bronzer on my forehead, like around the hairline, just a little bit. It's like tap it around the hairline to make the forehead a little smaller. Because I have a six head instead of four head. Not even five head, six head. Alright, so take a blush and put it right above the bronzer in the same kind of sweep. Sweep in motion and blend it with bronzer. Okay, decent actually. I'm not gonna have you bronze me in my chin and stuff. It's already too much work for you. All right, the highlight. Actually, let's spray the face first and then we'll do the highlight. Uh, the setting sprays, I got two setting sprays. I've got this and this, so that's the options. And I can spray a little bit on your hand. I'll have you sniff it. So which one's more expensive? This one's more expensive. <laughs> he guessed it right because I gave you a really S-H-A-T-T-Y option. <laughs> this one smells like crap, honestly. Like vomit. <laughs> I got this in the Walmart box. So Tarte. Tarte smells amazing. Actually, it's a maracuya, I think. Set in this. It's 23 bucks. A hard candy is $5 in Walmarts. Yes, we're going for more expensive ones, no doubt. Thank you. For not letting me inhale it. Mm, that's a lot. My eye got glued together. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at the shine. I'll take the fan and fan me. Now let's see if you can flip the fan like a queen. Nope, the other way. That was pathetic. What kind of queen are you? A very poor quality queen. One day I'm gonna dragulate you on camera. I'm gonna beat your face on my YouTube channel and I'm gonna name you. No. <laughs> okay, I'm still very, very wet, <clears throat> but it's gonna go away eventually. All right, so next is highlight. Let's guess what is what and I'll have to guess the prices because I forgot to do it in the beginning. So two highlights, you can smear them with your finger. So that's the two options. This one's more expensive. He guessed correctly. This one has such expensive packaging though, the Hojo. So I was sure I was gonna trip him with this, but that didn't, he didn't buy into it. So he's going for it already for more expensive. But hold on, let me tell him the prices. He just wants to get it over with. So the highlighter uh, benefit cookie is 
Oh. oh, I forgot to ask him what he guesses, but he never guesses anything. Hoju is eight bucks. A thin line in the middle of the nose. Thin line, not like the last time. The last time he painted my whole nose in highlighter. I was like Rudolf Reindeer. He still did it again. <laughs> Revenge. Revenge for making him do it. Okay, so you put a little bit of my lip highlighter. We're not done yet. Hold the brush. <laughs> a little bit here, a little bit on the chin. See how pretty that is. Now I'll give a small brush and put that highlighter in my inner corner of the eye. There it comes. See? Oh, the shine. The shine. It really works. All right, so we only have lips left. And I'm going to give you the lip liner first and then the lipstick. And you can go and disappear off camera. <laughs> he just wants to disappear. I have, I have a feeling. He's sitting here like a cat, not saying a word. I'm just kind of doing the sound effect for him. So here's the lip liners. And again, lip liners, I don't have expensive ones. So I'm going to tell you right away the post budget. Just one is cheaper as one is more expensive. So I'll give you the line. So that's one. Uh, again, the names are going to be on the screen because you probably can't see. And that's two. So which one is more expensive? Number two. Ha! No! Haha. <laughs> well, they're, they're kind of both cheap. The Essence one is super cheap though. It's two ninety nine, and Cold Pop is six dollars. So slightly more expensive. So we're going for more expensive one or cheaper? Number, number two. The cheaper one. Okay. There you go. All right. Overline my lips, so I look like a lip filler. I'm getting lip filler for my birthday, by the way, so you guys are gonna see me with plump lips. Well, not that plump. That's very decent, actually. Hmm. Hmm. He's improving. <clears throat> Mildly, but improving. Okay, the last step is the lipstick. So they are similar in color, they're not the same, it's similar. And the price difference here is pretty uh, big, so I'm going to ask you to guess. I keep forgetting to ask him to guess the prices, but he says I'll never guess the price, so whatever. Uh, so i got two lipsticks here. They look very similar, too. And you're going to see what I'm using. I'm going to put names and prices on the screen, so you already see. That's the next one. The first one's more expensive. He guessed correctly. So first one, what do you think would it cost? $5. You said the first one is more expensive? Yeah. And it's five dollars. <laughs> what do you think the cheap one is? Fifty cents? One dollar. <laughs> it's so bad. So the more expensive one is eighteen bucks. <laughs> and this is those of color. And the cheaper one is uh wet wild liquid cat suit and this one is really is cheap. It's at two ninety nine. So I guess you're going for more expensive one. I can... Of course. <laughs> He's got expensive taste. You should have a new YouTube channel instead. That's actually not bad. That was a liquid lipstick. But this is the final look. I'm gonna take the mirror, a mirror, and I'm gonna have a look. I'm gonna scare myself a little bit. This mm -hmm. one has a mirror. Actually, it's not like awful. I have a little mascara on my nose. You should have cleaned that up. What kind of makeup artist are you? But overall, the highlighter looks perfect where it should be. The bronzer looks a little dirty here. It's a good, a little patchy. Yeah, it's a little patchy here. I have foundation missing in pieces here. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see all this travesty. <laughs> but, but, but. For the super editorial look, <laughs> this could do. There are blobs of color that look very much Picasso. The eyelashes sit almost correctly. The low lash line I kind of live for, that's not bad. Uh, the eyebrows are actually not terrible. <laughs> I'm getting to give you a lot of props. I'm very shiny with, for the set and spray. You did a real good job with that. So overall, I think you did way better than the first time around. The lips look almost perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I mean, the shape is not bad. It's just a little slightly crooked, but it's almost perfect. So let me take the headband off. 
I'll put some earrings on and we're gonna come back and give you the final words. So that's it, that's the final look. I got my pretty bright colorful makeup on and John did it all by himself almost. So what do you think? How do you think he did? Perfect. See? He's got very high opinion of his skills and he's got very bougie taste. And I think you need to have your own YouTube channel and call it Joanna the Bougie Bitch. And that would be the name, Joanna the Bougie Bitch. Because you got all the bougie makeup, <laughs> all the bougie taste. You and Teresa have to have the same channel together. And two bougie bitches. <laughs> and I'm a chip ho. So that's it. That's the end of the video, guys. Let me know what you think, how he did. I mean, I think the first time around was way worse. I think this big improvement. I'm going to insert the card for our first video together. It was like almost a couple of years ago. It's going to be here. So you'll see all the travesty of me sit sitting down and getting drunk while he's beating me. So leave me a comment below, like this video, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And follow me on Instagram, Twitter, the links are down in the description box. Just subscribe to my channel, upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And also go live almost every Monday. So I have a Patreon group, the link to my Patreon group is in the description box. Huge thank you to you guys, you guys are amazing. Thank you for your support. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!